Your battle was successful, and all warriors will speak of your feats around the fires for a long time. Our people have found good new hunting grounds for the summer, but my days are numbered. My hair is turning gray, and my sight is turning dim. Soon, my spirit will join the great spirit, Wankan Tanka. But know this, an old wolf does not have sharp teeth anymore, but he does sense the trap. In the mountains, the yellow metal was found. It will not be long until the white man will find us here as well and disturb our peace. Our people will be driven away like the light from the night. Sometimes, my son, the wise fight is better than the futile fight. Ask the ghosts of our forefathers for advice. Only they can help us. Welcome back to America, No Peace Beyond the Line, the expansion pack, and welcome to the second scenario for the Native Americans. Alright, here we go. We found a new home here, but we're going to be attacked by the United States soon again, so I'm afraid we'll, we're going to have to leave. So what we're going to do here is... We're going to put you in here, then we're going to gather everyone else. We can we can take a couple of tents here along. Not too many, but we're going to, just, going to take a couple along. Unfortunately we can't take the chief's tent along. That's not possible. And we should probably also take these horses here, because we have them. Also, yeah, our chieftain is already in a horse, that's good enough then. I'm going to leave one of my arrow guys in the main tent here. He can probably kill a couple of guys while their tent's being taken down. It's not going to stop the enemy, but we may as well, may as well give it a shot. Awesome. So everyone, please come down here. Fortunately, there aren't any obstacles in the way, so it's not like you need to fight your way through here. So we do just move down here. And we're going to give up our beautiful home, but that's how it is. Let's just go down here and see how that next area is. This map here is fairly large. There are a couple of other areas we can go to as well and look at that. Let's check out that totem. Let's ride up here. There we go. Yep, we need to find raw materials and stuff. So the the totem here gave us the advice that the spirit of the ancestors can help us. What they mean by that is a new mechanic. There's a new tent called the Tent of the Ancestors. And that one can give us access to like a boost. It's essentially a support power. But we're going to get to that later. For now we have to survive. So unfortunately, uh, we can't get a new great tent because you can only have one and the one up there still standing so unless we get attacked by by the actually I've got a, I've got a plan here so firstly you're going to get yourself sorted out here and you're going to get me an animal processing facility here here we go so where are my arrow guys you're here Yep, so we can't can't get any fields up and running here. That's not very convenient, but that's how it is. Didn't I give every one of you... I guess he didn't give you a tent, that's okay. And what else do we want to build? Probably a wood processing facility. So let's get one of those up and running right here. And let's check out. Yeah, so the Americans are coming after us here. We can probably take down one or two of them here, but this this tent here is going to fall rather quickly. That's unfortunate. You can try to stop these guys, but I wouldn't I wouldn't advise it. It's uh, kind of difficult to put it mildly. Awesome. So let's get 
You, know, you can actually do some hunting here. And should I... I could de-horse one or two of you, but we'll, we'll see about that. For now, we're going to rebuild our great tents. Or the chief's TP, which you can't afford because we didn't have enough lumber, but we do have it now. So let's build that right here. So that's going to... What do you think you're doing here? Seriously, what, what the hell? So you can just just walk walk past here like nothing's happening there we go goodbye okay so we do have some food here now that is great but not great enough let's select all of you guys here there's a couple of other things we can do as well but we're going to get to those let's do some more exploration and see where that leads us oh look at that some cows nice going to steal those or just take them I guess they don't have an owner they just hang around here let's make sure we tag all of those and into the meat grinder with you that's going to give us a, actually are you f oh and you're not fully processed yet okay so we're not going to do that then we're going to wait just a little bit here and then we're going to send you the meat grinder we're going to wait until you have maximum value you built me some tents here and oh those those are just our guys that gave me a mild heart attack for a moment but that's okay so you can just unpack the tp here i guess you didn't bring one along that's totally fine unpack the tp here and we're going to unpack another. no no don't, don't hunt the cows what why did you do that okay fine send these in here before they get hunted the inefficient way that's good enough. Okay, then we want at least one more worker for that for that gold mine. And you can just build me a couple more tents here. And then we also want our upgrade tent and whatnot, but we're going to get to that. So here's our sleeping TP. And let's get the TP of the elders already, because we would like to have that for all those upgrades, because we're going to need those. And we're also going to train a couple more arrow shooters here. Should we get upgrades or arrow shooters? I guess we can get both. We can just save some, some money here for upgrades. X upgrade, I don't think I really need that right now. And you please hunt this, this buffalo here. There we go. Other than that, we are pretty okay. We're going to keep these guys here. There's a reason for that. And we're going to group everybody else. You are... Oh yeah, oh yeah you're the new warrior for the gold mine. So there we go. Awesome. So we are currently uh, low-ish on lumber, but that's not really a problem because we're going to... Oh, we've run out of gold. That's okay. We're going to have enough gold soon. We're going to have enough lumber soon. I think I can get this upgrade here because it really it, it doesn't cost that much. Even though I'm probably not going to need that much lumber anyway, but whatever. Let's get another sleeping keeper here. And these guys here are now going to establish a base. We don't really have to bother with them much, and they're not, probably not going to bother us much. We might wipe them out at one point, but we don't really have to worry about that right now too much. Let's get a couple more of you. And maybe a second training tent at one point. So you're done here. Nice, nice. So this looks kind of gruesome. So you can join us here. And you can maybe hang around here. So you're just a little bit more protected. Okay, good, good. We can get more lumber workers, but probably... Are we going to need more lumber workers? Maybe maybe a couple more. Maybe like two more. So, and once gold mine guy is, has finished mining all that gold, we can get someone else to... Well, we can get gold mine guy to help out here as well. Okay, so we're going to expel from our lands again. But what can you do? We will fight back eventually, but we're going to get to that in the near future not right now we get over here and do we want a second lumber processing here or wood processing uh, i guess we could build another one here it's just a little bit closer let's wait a little bit more before we get yet another one well done and then let's maybe wait do we want the let's get protective clothing first and then let's get two more of you it should be sufficient for the time being. We're going to get more upgrades later. So we can also access the Tomahawk Thrower, but we need the TP of the Ancestors. And the Knife Thrower. The Tomahawk Thrower is essentially like the Knife Thrower, but even more expensive and even more elite. But more about that in a bit. 
for now. Let's wait for these guys here to finish. And then we're going to see whether we can get our hands on some more food. These cows here are pretty good because you get them for free and you just get a very high amount of food in a very short amount of time. But it's not going to last you forever. And that's pretty much all I have to say right now. This gold mine here is going to run out soon, but we, we're not going to rely on gold units much. We're more going to rely on uh, cheap units, but with gold upgrades. At least for the time being. So let's go down this path here. And let's see what awaits us here. Okay, so these outlets have a lot of cattle, and I mean a lot of cattle. A lot, a lot of cattle. So we'll see whether we can bait these guys here just a little bit, because we don't want to fight... Abs oh, okay, well, I guess, I guess we're going to fight all of them at the same time now, which is exactly what I wanted to avoid, but oh well. Okay, so we're going to steal the cows and sell them for gold, and also... There we go. And also... Kill at least half the outlaws here. The outlaws have a base, you can attack that. I would not recommend it because... Oh, so there's more of them, that's okay. Let's just destroy you here. Oh, or well maybe the... Hey, get over here, get over here. Okay, I don't want to fight all of these guys here right now. Because they have towers and they have there's dynamite guys inside and whatnot. We don't want to bother with those right No, 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 you go... You act offensively and then just ride through here. Going to steal all those cows, just get over here. So that, that's already enough cows, and you into the meat grinder. And after that we're going to get even more cows, and we're going to meat grind all of them. For gold and for food. What's happening here? Oh yeah, they might throw dynamite at us here, so we need to be a bit careful here. We, we don't want to take out the outlaw base, at least not until we have way more troops, because it's just way too much work. And it's probably not worth it. Okay, so here's the next batch of cows. This is a lot of cows, so... We're going to make it... And, ooh, snap! Oh, they're, they're taking revenge for that. Okay, let's kill the barbers. Because the last thing we need is them stealing all our cows back. Nope. Okay, so you can't... You know what? Uh, no, 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 no. You're not going to get those cows back. Hey, come over here. What are you doing? Stay and fight. Anyway... Guess we are going to get even more cows up here. I think we tacked all, almost all of them. All of you get in here. Someone kill this barber here. Okay, he's going to take our workers, whatever. So what's your problem? Oh yeah, now you're coming back, so... There we go. So the, the outlaws are going to molest us for the rest of the, the scenario here, but that's okay. So we, we do regenerate, and this was absolutely, totally worth it. We, we made so much food in here. Okay, was that every cow? I don't think quite, but let's just go down here. Oh, they stole one back. Actually, no, we didn't. I guess you just... At least you still had my attack. Maybe the cow got moved, then got my attack again accidentally. So that could have happened. Anyway, with these resources, we shall get more upgrades. We shall also get another training TP here, most definitely. And let's just see that we get all the cows into the meat grinder. But this might have been the last of them. Let's see. Nope. There's one more cow left. The final cow. There we go. Our people are under attack. That's Yep, yeah, just, just get out of here. Cow, you get in here. You get in there. Then it's time to expand our army. And we're also going to get some more... Some of these tents here. So let's get one, two, three, four, five of you. And one, two, three, four, five of you. Some spear guys. You can also get rifle guys. Uh, let's see about that. For now we're good here and we're going to build some more training TPs. Which I mean sleeping TPs. Alright, looks like that that cattle the case of cattle theft was rather successful, which is great. So let's burn through some more of our resources. We can also move against the, these guys here in the north, because it's not going to be that difficult to take them out, but we're going to do some other things first. Here we go. Location can be built on, that's totally fine. So Chief, you're going to... 
Going to take a little bit of a step back here. And we're going to sort you a little bit. And to be honest, we have so much lumber and we don't really need all that much lumber because we're not doing any agriculture. We're just going to build yet another training TP because we can afford it. So, there's more of you. Do you want rifle guys? These don't actually cost that much gold. Maybe let's get one, two, three, four, five here now. And some more arrow shooters here. Awesome. And then one more sleeping tent to max out our pop. One, two, three, four, five. And we must not forget to also get the final upgrades here, which are somewhat expensive. So we have to take that into account. Oh no. The US cavalry is going to attack in 20 minutes. So now it's time to get our... Oh, it's so you are, you are unemployed here. That's totally okay. So it's time to to prepare our defenses, which we will. We're going to get to that. And that's all I have to say right now. So we can build this advanced stuff. I'm not going to bother with the medicine man and everything. We might build the TP of the ancestors at one point. Because we do have a fair amount of gold left. But we're not going to bother with it right now. We're going to do something else at this stage here. While we're building more troops up. Here we're going to do some more exploration. Chief, you can actually come along for the morale bonus. We will get attacked by the outlaws every now and then. But they have very strong defenses. And... Burning through them is probably not worth it at this point, especially because we still have to face the Americans. So there's that, or the US Army, or Cavalry, whatever. So let's see where this leads us. Let's just go through here. And... How's our... Looks like our army is coming up nicely. You can... Specify another assemble location here because I want to make sure that these guys don't just get picked up or picked off while we're waiting and some outlaws storm in. Yeah, you check out what's beyond the mountains here and you go into hold ground mode. Look at that. Looks like we can raid some ranches here. We'll see whether that's worth it and how many troops they have here. Oh, some cowboys. There's a trapper here. Let's just destroy their stuff here. Step that wrench. Stab it with your spears. There we go. Okay. Then let's destroy the rest Oh! Trapper's huts. Those should probably go because they, they will... They will train more trappers from them and nobody likes that. There we go. Oh, let's be careful. Let's only challenge these guys here if we really have to. Oh yeah, I forgot you. We have to go around the ruins here. That's okay. And let's destroy this one here too. Oh, snap. We just angered, uh, angered these guys here quite a bit. Well, time to destroy all of you. Hey, the, oh, you're on a horse. That's not good if you face spear guys. So we're going to... I'm going to have some losses here, but hopefully... We already got 2,000 food, so we already made a, made a profit here. Time to destroy all of you. Cowboys here, you need to go as well. And... Oh, someone stepped that horse. That wasn't really necessary, but okay. Man, you have a lot of cowboys. I mean, these are ranchers, and ranchers produce cowboys, so... I'm not quite sure I'm surprised about that. Oh, hello, Commander. Oh, oh, you're so dead. Yeah, there we go. Don't bring a horse to a spear fight. No, don't, don't be like that. Okay, get over here then. I mean, I don't really need these guys all that desperately, but I, I still want them to survive here. Okay, just stay here and fight. Don't, don't run around like this. Oh, oh, fantastic. Thanks for killing that. What are you? Oh, they stole those, of course. Forgot about that. Ah, inconvenient. That's the, that's the right term here. Inconvenience. Okay, our people are under attack. I'm not surprised. I'm kind of surprised these are still alive after, after I didn't look at them for 20 seconds. So time to destroy their their lair here. Kill more of their workers. Kill more of you. And then destroy the rancher. We still have more than 15 minutes left, so that should be fine. And the occasional cowboy here is not going to cause us too much trouble, I think. There we go. 
knew they, well, like I say, the occasional cowboy. It's, it's quite a regular cowboy. They have after me here. You can just murder this guy here. Or not. Almost there. There we go. So there goes your HQ. Hey, get over here, cowboy. Okay, fine. I'm gonna kill you, your your friend here first. And there we go. And then let's make sure that we destroy the rest of their production facilities. Farms and whatnot, they can be destroyed later. So you go down here. Oh, yeah, you, you're going to die now. Oh, fine. If you, if you don't want to challenge me here, then... Then I'm not really not really interested. Okay, so they're almost almost done here. Yeah, this this was definitely worth it. They had some trapper and stuff, but the, the trapper huts were pretty exposed, and now they have lost their ability to produce anything outside these ranches here. And we definitely gained a lot of food here, so can't I can't really complain about that. Oh, one last cowboy. Oh, what? Okay, you guys here just need to decide what you want to do, whether you want to attack me or not. Okay, anyway, we should probably get more. Firstly, you. I think I'm going to get a couple more of you because I can use some additional lumber. And I'm going to get uh, maybe one, two, three, four, five more of you. And then we're going to get a bunch more of you and a bunch more more of you. There we go. And we definitely want another wood processing facility here. So what's the deal here? There doesn't seem to be a deal. I think we murdered everyone successfully now. So let's just destroy the rest of their base. We only lost three guys here. That's actually pretty good. Let's destroy their fields. And we can also take additional horses here because there's, there's a lot of horses here because they just produced so many cowboys on horses. There we go. Even though your yeah, horse can make you vulnerable to certain attacks, but overall the damage bonus is mostly worth it unless I'm in a situation where I can't be bothered to to mount more guys on horses. There we go. Kill that field worker here. Looks like you can't build can't bring your food anywhere, but that's okay. There we go. And just drive by kill that, that frontiers woman. And yeah, I think we're going to wipe these guys here out, just to be sure. Did we get even more resources from destroying a couple of other buildings here? Because it feels like it, but maybe there's just a delay until you actually get the resources. Oh, no, that horse escaped almost. Destroy this one here. And there we go. We're going to wipe these guys here off, clean off the map. And I've got some other plans as well, but we're going to get those for now. Let's destroy all their houses. Just to make sure these guys will never ever return. So you can gather here, you can return home for now. These guys here should be a sufficient defense force. And the regeneration here is of course really useful because that means we don't really have to fiddle around with nurses or anything. We can just rely on these guys here to to get their health back after a while anyway. Uh, there's some more horses I could have taken, but it's not really that important. And it looks like we could have gotten around here, but that's also fine. I'm tempted to destroy these guys here just because. We still have 10 minutes left. That's actually a pretty solid amount of time. So let's get some more of you. Included in this group here, you get over here, and then we'll, we're going to assemble a Bravo team. There we go. No, that was group three. That's not what I wanted. You are group three. And I think then we're just going to wipe these guys here out because we can. And just to keep our back clean, you should. So you're safe ish here. You are going to hang around here against the outlaws, and you can also go to work. I could have sent you a little bit earlier, but whatever. It's not that important. Oh, performance drops here. I guess I'm just going to... Oh yeah, that's that's why I sent you there. Yeah, the outlaws don't send too much. They send stuff like hunters and barbers for the most part. So they don't send many gunslingers or so. But they do send uh, large-ish groups of 
of guys, so you have to have to watch out a little bit. We could actually get a, a coral and we could get some more transport stuff, but the question is, is that really worth actually it is? Uh, so let's get a coral. I mean, we can also send horses in there, so it's not like that. But we'll, we'll see about that. So for now, just go maybe up here. And then it's time to destroy those guys. We still have 10 minutes left and we have 20 minutes in total, so this, this is plenty of time. To take revenge. Okay. Oh, hello there, soldier. Oh, oh, I've got more friends than I had last time, so... This time you're going to not have... You're not going to have an easy time. There's more of them here. It's still a considerable amount of troops they have here. And they will probably have some losses, but that's okay. And time to die. You didn't have to do this, but you choose to. And these guys here don't have any reproductive facilities yet. So they won't be able to reinforce these guys here anytime soon. Let's destroy their fields. Oh, and there's oh there's there's the rest of their stuff. That's oh, that's totally okay. Okay, I should coordinate these these guys here a little bit better. Don't bother with the buildings. Kill the, the actual soldiers. Let's destroy their fields here. Also, there's still someone hanging around here. That's okay. You're going to die soon enough. There we go. Join us here. I guess you can get yourself all horsed here. Oh, you're brave. Just walking in here. But you tried. Hey, commander. Well, looks like you have to take some responsibility here for your actions. Okay, so you guys can chase those guys. Everybody else here is going to destroy the HQ here. So it didn't even take me two minutes to, to mess these guys up more or less completely. Oh, did you? Oh, you actually fought back. Wow, you're, you're really brave. Damn, I haven't seen that before. Maybe that's just new in the expansion that these guys actually fight back because I've not seen that before. As you can see, the AI is way too slow to build up anything. They took their time, they only had a couple of fields. And they had something like 15 to 20 minutes and they essentially had nothing. Compared to the stuff they originally had. Did you really need two of these here? Probably not. There we go. And dead. There's still they have some stuff left. That's okay. We still have maxed out our pop, which we probably should do. So let's, let's just get, for now, for now we're just going to get more of you here, because we might need other stuff later. Let's do that. And let's destroy the last buildings here. There we go. And this field here just for good measure. Awesome, someone can take this horse here. So they, they tell you now that Fort Laramie has surrendered. That's a new thing you actually see when a faction gives up. And they also change how it works in multiplayer. Well, we only lost like three. I would think we lost like five guys total. That's actually totally okay. And what I want to say is that they they announce when a faction is beaten. Which is quite nice, so that you don't have to worry about them having a lone worker left somewhere. And then that worker rebuilding everything while you weren't looking. Which can be rather annoying. So we're not going to have that situation. Which is pretty convenient. There's still... So plenty of guys we can train. Okay, the Americans better bring some really heavy, heavy stuff, otherwise they're not going to succeed here. So we might want to move some stuff again in the future. So I'm going to sacrifice some horses for that. Three of you, in fact. You just you just stay here for a moment. And let's have you dismount and horses. You get in here before you go out of control. There we go. Still have a couple of minutes left. So we're going to do something else. You're all going to... Uh, 
together here. There we go, and here we go. Because I have more plans for you. And you're going to stay here and defend me in the meantime. Okay, and you're actually going to come along here too. So, our people on attack. This again. Okay, we're going to send more guys over there because this seems to be their favorite spot to, to attack us. So you just stay in the forest here. I think they just want to go for our workers. So, let's just hang around here. Actually, I have a different plan for my workers. So you can you can stay here for now. Otherwise, I might, might get you in danger. So, here we go. There we go. Chieftain, you follow us. Okay. There we go. Got a nice assault force here. So purple actually has some stuff left. They have some defenses left. Those aren't terribly relevant because they never empty their garrisons. So the garrisons just kind of stand there and I think they actually, but the, these are, are quite powerful, but there's a reason why we take them out. We're, we're going to get to that later. We're going to have some losses here, but we need to do this sooner or later anyway, so we may as well get it behind us. And they all have cannons and two soldiers in them, so they these defense here pack quite a bit of firepower, but that's how it is. You take this horse here. There we go. So this wasn't actually that bad. We lost oh, like five guys or so again. And here we are. And then we can already partially destroy this, this barrier here. There's also a reason why we do that. It's just preparation for later. So we still have like three minutes and something left. But keep in mind that after that time, that's only the time after which the Americans actually pop up on the map. So you still have some time left if you need more time for preparation in which they actually come for you. So there's that. There's more guys hanging around here. You don't actually need to hang around here anymore. So yeah, everything's fine so far. Yeah, I can't really complain. Chieftain just... Oh yeah, you're speeding ahead because you are the only group that doesn't have non-cavalry in it. So there's that, yeah. I don't think we really need to get more guys because we have a we have a decent amount of troops here and the Americans will just trickle in so we don't oh yeah we should probably get that that upgrade here how about that the Americans they won't they will attack us with a decent force but it's not going to be insane in any way shape or form so we don't need to worry that much about it to be perfectly honest you know what I think I'm going to send, send these guys here north indeed. You can actually come along here because I don't really don't really need you down here right now. So you just, just get over here. You will do the same. And the rest of you just await the, the army here. You can just wait here. And did I... Yeah, I did start researching that. Nice, nice. You just hang around here. Uh, maybe move a little bit up here. You can get out there. And did we start producing a travoy here? We did not. But that's okay. We just want to transport the, the TP of the Elder here because... TP of the Elders, that is. Because that one costs gold. Whereas the other one just costs lumber and there's so much lumber on this map that we don't really need to worry about. The lumber all that much to be honest. So let's just hang out here. And then we're going to await the Americans. So the Americans will pop up on the map after the counter runs out, but they're not going to attack you straight away. They have to reach you first, and they're probably going to spread out their, their, their troops a little bit, so that's, that's likely going to be detrimental for them. You will actually join these guys up here as well. Then again, actually, no, you don't need to. But let's do it anyway. So US Cavalry is going to join us here in the near future. Hey, look at that, there's more cows. Valuable cows. We're going to get to you soon. But first, we need to raise our main tent here. 
and rebuild it because there's a gold mine up here as well and so let's do that oh yeah we need to wait until the till the ruins here disappear before we can build the new building there we go new chief's tp let's build that and then this always comes with this route here not quite sure what the deal with that is but okay and in the meantime let's just hang around here and uh, look pretty after this one here is done we can do some gold mine there's another 1800 gold here that's not actually all that bad i'll have it so this should be harvested in no time and let's get an animal processing here not quite sure whether i lose my horses when i lose the 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 coral here i think i do are our people on attack what's the outlaws again can you can you just leave me alone whatever you know what you either come to me and fight or you don't fight but, but make up your mind so those were not the guys i was looking for but that's okay so you're here now that's good you can catch me all these cows here There we go, let's get in here with you. And man, the Americans are sure taking their time. How slow are you? You're the cavalry. You know what, whatever. I've got enough guys there. Th oh, no, don't, don't hunt the cow. Don't hunt the cow. You're going to mind control the cows and... Hey, it's one guy. Okay, well, that wasn't particularly impressive. Hey, it's more guys. Oh, whoo, oh, they've got cannons and stuff. Look at that. And Ken's gone. So let's just hang around here. The sheriff, uh, what are you doing here, you civilian? Whatever. Whatever. So let's just get their horses stolen. And then we're going to hang out here. Nope, that was the wrong. That was the wrong hotkey. Wait a second. You are... Oh, you're group two, obviously. What was I thinking? Never mind. So you catch the rest of the cows here. Man, there's always like one cow that... Oh, wait, no, that wasn't a, a disobedient cow. That was just a... That was just a regular cow that I hadn't caught yet. Because oftentimes there's at least this one disobedient cow that just doesn't go into... into the, the meat processing facility. Which is understandable. Nobody wants to get in there. But you have to, because it is my command. Nope. Don't do that, please. There we go. You're mo more valuable that way. Nice, nice. Let's get another train to oh, There's even more cows. So many cows here. Look at that. We already have so much more food. Oh, hey, they're actually sending some guys. Away. Oh, sn oh, sn oh, more cannons and whatnot. Okay, that's, that's totally okay. Going to lose that guy. So these, they, they hardly bother to attack us, and they're also attacking our tents, which is not the best strategy. Should attack our guys first, but whatever. There we go, here we go. What are you trying to do now? No? Nope, sorry, not going to play that game. I said it before, you can either fight or not fight, but make up your mind. There we go. That's the downside with arrows that you don't don't always hit your targets. Okay, so this looks pretty good to me. And more cows tacked. Nice, nice. Into the meat grinder once more. And let's build one more training TP here. It's not like we lack the lumber, actually. Uh, let's let's cut some more because I have nothing else to do with you guys here. And so much gold and so much meat. More than we need, really, at this point. Let's get the processing facility going up here. And I did have my TP of the elders here. Oh, yeah. You're here, so you can join us there. And anything else I want right now? Not really. I guess we can get this one here now. 
so you can get the TP of the Ancestors. To be honest, I don't think we really need the TP of the Elders because we have the upgrades and I'm pretty sure you retain those. But then again, we may as well save it. It doesn't really cost us anything. And then it's just a little more waiting. Yeah, we could challenge the Outlaws, but it's not really recommended because they have a lot of Gunslingers and they have a like a 100 food army just hang out in their base, so we're not going to do that. Let's get the TP of the Ancestors. That's even fancier than the Medicine Man's TP and the TP of the Elders. Because we have so many fabulous TPs here. You as you could hunt some buffaloes, it's not really necessary. Alright, there we go. Yep, so we will have to move. And we will move. First we're going to move over here. Everyone prepare to retreat. You get over here. And oh, you're, you've already arrived. That was faster than expected. Yep, I know there's another good camping site. Or campsite rather, not camping site. Because I'm already there. So we have the warrior spirit here. If you when we research that. First we get access to the Tomahawk thrower here. When we research that we can get all of our, t our troops a boost, but it's temporary. But it does have three levels, so you, you essentially get as a support power. What's happening here? Or more of you guys here, whatever. You can shoot your way through there if you really want to. You know what we're going to do here? You are going to actually no, we don't we don't really have our TP there anymore. Otherwise I would have used that main tent we have as a super bunker again. But that's not going to be the case here. So we're just going to take out these towers here because we can. No other reason. We absolutely don't need to do it. Just because we can. Just noticed something. I don't think they had any trappers here, so we but we didn't research stealth anyway, so who cares? And there we go, you got yourself stabbed. Okay. What people are Oh, those, that, that was probably our settlement. There we go. Player settlement set gave up. That's good to know. You get through here, please. Let's see whether you can all squeeze through there. You should be able to. Let's, let's not watch that drama. Instead, let's just get more tents here. Everybody walk here on their own tents. So we can... Rest assured that we don't have to... I guess we do, do, we do, we do more clicking, but you have to do it less often, I guess. That's the difference here. I know our settlement's under attack, you know what? Can't be bothered with this anymore. I don't want to hear this until all of this is gone. We're just going to delete this entire settlement here. There we go. If you want to fight me, you can come up here. They're under attack by whom? What are you doing here, Americans? Seriously. Okay, everybody come over here then. I guess these guys here want to challenge us already. Okay, oh, that's a lot of trappers and some of these guys here. It's okay, I've got more troops than you and I also have the ability to get even more of them. So you get on this horse here, there we go. We're just going to have everyone hang out here so you form a nice bottleneck. Then we're going to refill, refill our ranks here with, group, with guys from group Five. There we go. And there we go. Nice. We still have pop slots left. We need a couple more tents, but that's okay. There's enough sleeping tents for everyone. And so now we can trigger this once we have enough energy, which we don't have right now, but that's okay. Oh, great. So the outlaws have arrived here. No, we only have five minutes to defend ourselves. That's totally okay because we already have enough stuff to defend ourselves, I think. Okay, yeah, you come in here. And, hey there, Baba. You're welcome. 
awesome. What what are you doing? No 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 you're not going to you're not going to walk around here, so you either come here and fight or you don't come here and fight, but nothing in between. Okay, let's get a couple of these guys here and then let's get a couple of Tomahawk throughout. Because we may as well get some elite forces here. It's not like we don't have the gold or anything. And let's just get two more tents, so our pop is maxed out. And that's kind of all I have to say. Are you the only guy who's left in group 5? You are. That's fine. So, this tent here of course has to recharge, but with every with every upgrade here we get more energy. I suppose we may as well recruit a couple of you to hunt buffalo, because why not? We still have five minutes left, so there's that. But they don't give us a counter this time, which is also fine. I don't really care all that much. Here we go. Good, good. Getting somewhere here. This is all a little bit lengthy, but I like the basic idea of you having to move everything, but you have so many resources here that it's not really a big deal to move. It's not like you have to, like I said, oh, what do you leave behind? No, there's so much lumber, and since almost all your buildings only cost lumber, except for the more high-end one, which you don't really need all that desperately anyway. Yeah, it's it's not that big of a deal. I don't think there's an upgrade for more warrior spirit energy. I think you can just get... You can just get the, the actual power upgrades, but nothing else. But then again, if you could get one more, you could just cast it twice, and I don't think they want that. Anyway, one more sleeping tent here. Now we have these Tomahawk guys. It looks like they recycled the Medicine Man's model for that, in, in parts at least. So you hang out here. Man, we can get Warrior Spirits. You know what? Let's just get it. Let's just go for it. We still can't cast this. So man, this takes forever to charge up. It only lasts so long anyway, but I guess that's at least partially working as designed. Oh well. So we di didn't lose any additional guys here. That is nice to know. We can just all gather here. And then we can form another group here. Actually, we become group 4 and we go to group... Oh, now we have Delta Team here. Man, how often, how often do you really have Delta Team? Okay, did I... Oh yeah, of course, these guys were in group 1. What what, what did I expect, really? There should still be some buffaloes left. Yeah, there's two more left. So, yeah, apparently the Europeans reintroducing horses to the American continent also led to the decline of the buffalo because it allowed the natives to, to hunt them more efficiently. But obviously, the European settlers hunt them as well, so that didn't exactly help, did it? So, there's more of them here, which I could hunt, but I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to max out my pop before I even, I don't think, no, we can't get any fire archers here, no, it's not even an option, so let's just get more of you here, and you, you know what, you, we may as well get that other, that other food here just because. Yeah, they give you so much. And they also give us a ton of gold here. They do have the cows here placed on the map area. I'm not quite sure. I mean, they, s they say sell them for profit, so it's not like they forgot that cows actually give you gold as well, but okay. So you guys here, how much damage do you deal again? 14 damage. Almost. You, you, are, you are in fact almost as strong as the Mounted Chief, which is considerable. So... You guys here, and well, I guess I guess I can get a couple more of you to buffalo hunt here, just so it's faster. You hang around here. I could kill you just to free the pop slots, but whatever. Yeah, these buffaloes here are going to be gone in absolutely no time. Some more of you guys here. Let's see how you do against my tomahawk throwers. Not so hot, but I also have. A big band of pep just stop that just just stay there don't don't just run around like this it, it's annoying that was the wrong grouping here but okay so you stay here 
Yep, and these buffaloes here are going to be gone in no time whatsoever. I'm just going to build another sleeping tip here because I have nothing else to do. Okay, so I think we just need to hold out here until the timer runs out, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. I hope, unless it's a really, really huge group of pale faces. But let's see about that. For now it's not so bad. And we have them bottlenecked nicely here. But let's not get ourselves bottlenecked here. I don't think Tomahawk throwers can go on horseback. They cannot. That's that's expected. These guys here can't even bother to pick up the rest of the stuff here, but okay. What, whatever, man. Nope. Why did you why did you do that? Okay, let's let's have them let, okay, we should definitely have them come in here. I don't want them to to just stay behind the fence here. That, that's my side of the fence. I think they have trouble even getting to me and actually doing anything productive here. So there we go. And we've almost maxed out our pop. That's nice too. Oh, hello. Ooh, they're actually sending something significant this time. And that cannon did not fire a single shot, I think. These guys really need to learn the, the concept of just staying and fighting and not... You come over here. This is... Why do you have to be so annoying? AI. Why? Thank you. So you know what? We're going to place you here. So anyone who who wants to attack you can just walk straight through my my armies here. Oh wait, you're a spear guy, not a rifle guy. Rifle guy has a slightly darker shirt. There we go, and a deeper voice. Yep, yeah, there we go. And damn, do I have a lot of guys here. So you can now use the TP of the ancestors. And we get a plus 40% boost, which is rather significant. But only lasts a short while, but it's a nice burst. If you just want to get into the enemy base. I guess it could be useful if you want to like, rush a headquarters. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. This guy here, damn, got himself murdered. Imagine you just, just go to the through the the gap in the fence, and then there's like 70 plus natives, and they all just open fire on you. That That's probably going to ruin your day. But that's that's just how it is. Okay, we're just going to wait here. This is, I guess, well, this is not technically a holdout mission. This is a holdout mission. These guys here probably have, for, yeah, they have a cannon because they are they're get, getting they're going slow. But that's okay. You know what? Let's invoke the spirit. Uh, that wasn't really necessary, but the question is, will it ever be necessary? So I may as well use it, and now that I've used it, it's also going to charge up again, otherwise it's just not going to charge up ever. So 40%, that's pretty significant. It doesn't show you it in numbers. I wish it would, because that would be kind of nice if you saw that this guy here would now be doing an additional maybe plus, uh, plus 6 damage or so. Anyway, let's just grab some more horses, because we can. And... We can't train more troops, but that was to be expected. There we go. Let's just stay here. Yeah, the cannons deal some splash damage, but to be honest, they don't have enough of them for it to really matter. Oh, this is like this buffalo skull here. I could see that, yeah. Is this oh, no, this isn't recharging faster. It's just that we still have 25 uh, energy left here. You can actually put two guys into that TP, that's interesting. So you could use it as some sort of bunker if you wanted to. Can we build several of those? We can, but this um, 400 gold, so that's one expensive bunker. Also expensive, repensive, yeah. Expensive to repair, but that's fine too. Well, the rest just waiting, to be honest. I wish this wasn't a holdout mission like this. I wish they would just send a huge army against you and you just kill everyone and then you move on because this is getting... You're getting a little bit old. We still we only waited four minutes so far. Yeah, this I like the the idea of this mission here, but everything feels kind of slow, and I I had no trouble taking on purple and and what color was were these guys? I guess like light green. 
not really Turquoise, I guess, let's call them Turquoise. The Outlaws are too hard to take out, but I don't know, do the Americans actually have have any any base here at the blue guys? So is it just pop up on the map? That's a good question. In any case, it's not too important. We're just going to sit here and going to wait until things happen. Some more soldiers, and they, they trickle in so slowly, so they don't even come in large groups. The largest group was just a bunch of cavalry guys plus cannons. So that wasn't particularly impressive, was it? And they also give you so many resources. Like all the gold we have. We have so much gold and so much food left. This is more generous than those missions, whereas... You think this would be a, a mission... Oh, they had oh they had dynamite thrust, like the, the pioneers. Okay, well, I guess time to get in everyone, but still... I can fill the rings easily. I have 1,000 food left. And that is... That is something like 15... You you have a really odd pose here. That's like 15 arrow guys. So like basic, just the basic ones. And I can't even build more tomahawk guys from that because they're, they're more powerful and they cost more gold. But I have still some gold left and I could also build rifle guys if I really wanted to. So none of this is really an issue. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I think there's just not enough pressure here. I think part of the reason is that only the outlaws put regular pressure on you. And even now it's no, it's no longer a lot because they just send like two or three guys. They, they used to send like five or six guys at a time. So you, can't, you essentially just have all the time in the world as well. And this isn't really a starvation map because there's so many cows here and they give you an, an outrageous amount of food. No mission um, minutes left here. It was kind of the same for the Mexican holdout mission. The one that took 45 minutes. That really should have been like 25 minutes. The only difficult part there was that there was a final rush. And the final rush actually did a lot of damage that destroyed one of my forts, I think. And they did actually crack my defenses, but they didn't crack them well enough. And I was able to, I think, wipe most of their guys. And they didn't even get close to destroying my headquarters. I think they... Did they even attack it? I, I'm, I wouldn't bet on that, but... Yeah, that was that was just a final search, and that would have been maybe even more pressing if they had done that earlier. But anyway, yeah, and this is just so easy to defend because this isn't even open. If they were attacking from several angles, then it would, then it would make that a little bit more difficult. Then again, you could still just hide your, chi your chieftain in your main tent and have everyone gather around that. Or if you don't want to lose a moral bonus, just have your chieftain like on standby and then have the chieftain hide in case you get attacked. So even that is not that big of a deal. But oh well. Yeah, the, the previous mission was quite quite different in that regard. They did have the initial part that was pretty easy because you regenerate and you got more and more troops, so most of the encounters got easier. But the final part's actually really tricky because the Americans have a full base with cannons and forts and cannons in forts. And trapper, so you can't really use the stealth, which you really never can use properly. Because the I, I think the eye has just unlimited rifles, at least. They always have so many trappers, it really feels like it. So that one went from pretty easy, and then the difficulty just spiked. And, if you, and the other thing is, if you don't know what to do, you might actually fail. Because if you just try to rush through, and you aren't prepared for, for cracking the... Uh, the stockade on the other end of the, the fort, then you might just fail because of that. But if you know what to do, then it's easier. And that goes for every mission, but it goes for different missions to different degrees. The pioneer's dead. I'm well, sending cowboys now, I'm getting desperate here. There we go. And everybody's dead. Did they even lose someone here? I'm, I'm, if so, I'm just replacing them immediately with, with fresh troops, so it's not that big of a deal. Yep, another Tomahawk guy here. I didn't know I was still training these, but I guess that's because they're trained a lot slower, so I finished up this lower the large cure of arrow shooters here earlier. And only six minutes left. We can use the spirit again if, if need to, maybe for the final rush or so, but even then, I think the only thing we really have to do is get our chieftain to safety if indeed they send so much stuff that they can overwhelm this entire group here. 
and I wouldn't bet on that. Maybe if they send a surge of sheriffs, those will actually be more dangerous because they they shoot so they have a lot of precision. They, I think they're still weaker than the cavalry guys, but on the other hand, they have an easier time attacking because they don't need to swarm you before they can do that. But okay. Yep, we sure don't have enough living spare. Thank you for just telling me that now. It happens occasionally, just like this. Oh, we can't build that because we don't have enough gold. Yeah, but magic, I'm, I'm sorry, but it's just not really worth it. And they didn't even give us this one here. That's kind of what I expected, but it probably would have been blown up by now anyway. That's sad. I kind of like the Tomark Thrower, but I will be honest. With the Tomark Thrower, even, <laughs> it even looks similar to the Knife Thrower. This guy here feels really redundant. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Occasionally a little bit of redundancy is fine, but it just feels that that guy does not fill a different niche, whereas all the other guys do. So this guy here, the arrow shooter, it's a cheap unit. It's it's your worst fighting unit apart from the warrior, who is not really a warrior, but more worker. But on the other hand, you only need food and lumber for it, so that, that makes it good. Then we have the spear fighter, who's good against cavalry. And is generally stronger, but sacrifices range for for damage. Damage. And then we have the rifleman. Of course, you need rifles for that. So this guy is even better, but it's more situational because we can't buy rifles as Native Americans. We have to steal or trade for them. Well, you we can't buy them, but we can't uh, we can't produce them in arms factories. And the knife thrower was an elite unit. He can't he can't go on horseback, but and he's, he's our most expensive unit, so he's uh, significantly more expensive than everybody else. The gold cost is double that of uh, a spear fighter. In fact, he's almost double the cost of a spear fighter. But uh, he's a lot more powerful, so you can consider getting more, more knife throwers instead of a larger army of uh, weaker arrow fighters. Or you can exchange them because you've already reached the maximum of your pop. But the Tomahawk thrower is pretty much the same, but he's even stronger. So there's there's no real difference there, whereas the American Pioneer fills a different niche. Because that's a, a little bit of an artillery unit. High damage output, low precision, as well as... Oh hello, there's more, more of you guys here. But still not particularly challenging. They, they don't really send any gunslingers, it's only hunters and barbers. So they're not really on the at, um, at the top of their game, but whatever. Yeah, the Tomahawk Thrower, but it, I guess maybe they just want the Tomahawks to be included as a weapon of any unit, so maybe that's that. Oh well, it doesn't matter too much. Oh yeah, we also have the Fire Arrow Shooter, which you can't build. Yeah, that guy is like a better arrow shooter, but costs gold but has great range and is good against buildings, so all of the other units have a little bit of a niche in some regards, but that's what a lot of RTS games suffer from, in my opinion. Then uh, the inter-faction balance is already really difficult, especially if factions work differently, at least to some degrees, like we're doing this game here, but the intra-faction balance is also important, where you often end up with a situation that one unit is just better than everybody else. And this game does have two because a lot of the rifle units they're so expensive and they take long to build and you need like arms factories for them and whatnot so it's often easier to just build the all barber or all cowboy army or even all gaucho army because you can get food you can get essentially unlimited food quite easily with like 15 to 20 farms or fields not farms oh that's much you just need four or five of those but fields, uh, lumber, if, even if you just have an area like this, that's already so much lumber that might need to last you an entire mission. So you, you essentially sacrifice like 10 pop slots. Hey there, Pioneer. Oh, I guess you're the first one. That's why they call Pioneer. So let's see what that's their final search in this case. Or maybe not. Who knows? Nope. It's just three random guys. What I want to say is that... I completely forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, you can essentially get unlimited food. And one point your food income will be so high that it's easier to just take the army made of... Oh, well now they're sending a lot of stuff. Taking the army made of like your cheapest units. 
but with some upgrades maybe and you, you just have 60 of those and they will cut through stuff the in the cowboys and the gauchos are especially good because they have 100 percent precision with their weapons even though their range is poor and to be honest with all the upgrades they're not that weak they get like nine attack probably mounted then they get 11 attack that's actually pretty solid so it's not that bad same for these guys here, 9 attack. The spear guys the spear guys have 13 attack now, but since they had initially higher attack, uh, relatively speaking, these guys got improved a lot more. And there's only 20 seconds left, so I guess there's no insane final search. Instead, we just kind of, this is just kind of going to frizzle away, but oh well. I'm not going to complain, because this already took quite some time, to be perfectly honest. And there we go. Yep, we will indeed. I don't think they're running away. I think they're all dead. And yep, we still don't have enough living space. But you're still hungry. Yeah, as I said, interesting idea, but uh, kind of underwhelming execution. But we'll see how the other campaigns hold up. I shall see you next time in the Mexican campaign. Take care, goodbye.